Hi everyone, Ms. Tui here. By now you've probably noticed that Ozobot is very good at following lines. But did you know that the bot could also be programmed to move to and from lines that are not connected? Ozobot wants to play a game with you to explore programming the bot to switch lines. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, and your Introduction to Color Codes Lesson 7 Line Switch Activity Sheet. In today's lesson, you will draw color codes to program your bot to turn left at a line end and move until it senses another line. Draw color codes to program your bot to move straight at a line end and move until it senses another line. And draw color codes to program your bot to turn right at a line end and move until it senses another line. Ozobot is pretending to be a frog. It needs to move from lily pad to lily pad to catch a fly. Can you help it? Let's look at the activity sheet. There are eight lines placed throughout and each line has a number next to it. The numbers show the sequence or order Ozobot needs to move to get from start to the fly. In the bottom left corner is the color codes key. You will see some familiar color codes and use new line switch color codes. You will need to pay close attention to the direction Ozobot travels along each line to determine the correct missing line switch code. Let's begin. Find the star in the line labeled with the number 1. If Ozobot travels up along this line, what direction will it need to turn to move to line 2? Ozobot will need to turn right to move to line 2. Can you find the line switch right color code in the key? I will put in the sequence red, green, red into the empty boxes to program Ozobot to turn right and continue moving until it senses line 2. Can you use the color codes key and your color code markers to fill in the line switch right on line one? Now look at line two. This line has two missing color codes. The first missing color code has two colors and is found at the top end of the line. The missing color code is the U-turn. When Ozobot moves to line 2, it will randomly choose to turn left and follow the line up or turn right and follow the line down. Since Ozobot needs to move down to move to line 3, including a U-turn will guide it to the correct direction. Can you find the U-turn in the color codes key? I will put in the sequence blue-red into the empty boxes to program Ozobot to turn around at the end of the line. Remember to follow the line to make the first square Ozobot will come to blue and the second square red. Once Ozobot begins to travel down line 2, what direction will it need to move to get to line 3? Ozobot will need to move straight to move to line 3. Can you find the line switch straight color code in the key? I will put in the color sequence green, blue, green into the second set of empty boxes to program Ozobot to go straight and continue moving until it senses line 3. Can you use the color codes key and your color code markers to fill in the U-turn and the line switch straight on line 2? When Ozobot moves to line 3, it will randomly choose to turn left or turn right and follow the line. To make sure Ozobot travels the correct direction towards line 4, a U-turn color code is needed. I will put the color sequence blue-red into the empty boxes on the line end. Remember to follow the line to make the first square Ozobot will come to blue and the second square red. Once Ozobot begins to travel along line 3, what direction will it need to move to to get to line 4? Ozobot will need to move straight again to continue to line 4. 
I will put the color sequence green, blue, green into the second set of empty boxes to program Ozobot to go straight and continue moving until it senses line four. Can you use the color codes key in your color code markers to fill in the U-turn and the line switch straight on line three? On to line four. You now know the missing color code on the line end is a U-turn. I will follow the line to make the first square Ozobot will come to blue and the second square red. Once Ozobot begins to travel up line four, what direction will it need to turn to get to line five? Ozobot will need to turn left to move to line five. Can you find the line switch left color code in the key? I will put the sequence green, red, green into the empty boxes to program Ozobot to turn left and continue moving until it senses line five. Can you use the color codes key and your color code markers to fill in the U-turn and the line switch left on line four? Let's complete lines five and six. Both lines need a U-turn on the ends. I will follow each line to make the first square Ozobot will come to blue and the second square red. Once Ozobot begins to travel up line five, what direction will it need to turn to get to line six? Ozobot will need to turn right to move to line six. I will put the color sequence red, green, red into the empty boxes to program Ozobot to turn right and continue moving until it sees line six. After Ozobot begins to travel down line six, what direction will it need to move to get to line seven? I will put the color sequence green, blue, green into the empty boxes to program Ozobot to go straight and continue moving until it senses line seven. Can you use the color codes key and your color code markers to fill in the U-turn, the line switch right, and the line switch straight on lines five and six? You've made it to the last two lines. Both lines need a U-turn on the ends. Once Ozobot begins to travel along line seven, what direction will it need to turn to get to line eight? Ozobot will need to turn right to move to line 8. I will put in the color sequence red, green, red into the empty boxes to program Ozobot to turn right and continue moving until it senses line 8. Finally, once Ozobot makes it to the fly on line 8, it has won the game. I will put in a win exit color code to program Ozobot to celebrate. Can you use the color codes key and your color code markers to fill in the U-turn, the line switch right, and the win exit on line seven and eight? You are now ready to play using your bot. Put your bot on start and watch as it moves from one line to the next to get the fly. Awesome job programming your bot to switch lines. Did you fill in the missing color codes for each line? Did you run your bot from start? Did Ozobot move in the correct sequence? Does your work show how Ozobot can be programmed to move to and from lines that are not connected? If you're looking for more to do, you can create your own game for Ozobot to play by drawing your own line segments and programming the bot to move to and from the lines following a set sequence. 
or you can read a story or think of a story you've already read. Then add images to the blank template to show the events in the story and program Ozobot to move to the images in order. Come back again soon for our next lesson.